I don't want to come visit no, no rappers in jail. I'm saying, for what? And it's all a million and two. I, don't, I wish, you know, I... I mean, it's supposed to be. I mean, I'm, I'm not no, no role model. I'm not, I'm not trying to be, you know. But I don't think, you know, if you got all that success, you got you can't, you know. And I want, you know, I, I always tell artists, you know, it's all right to be, you know, to be real. Real is, you know, everybody say, I wish I got to where you got. If I got to where you got, I would not be throwing no guns in nobody's faces or robbing nobody or none of that. Or just, you just be in. Somebody got to be for me, believe me. They could go. I'm only going to see Ricky because of the movie. I'm saying that's the only reason I'm can't cut, you cut it out? That's not much. Well, you should make it real. Come on, and, and you know, I don't understand. I'm older though, I'm 37 years old. I want to chase, I want to, you know, I want to travel around the world and chase famous models. I'm still always going to be ghetto. I'm too old not, not to be. You know what I'm saying? I'm who I am, but I ain't got to do, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not broke, so I ain't got to throw no guns in nobody's faces for nothing. I don't even want to see no guns if I can help it. I got a Rolls Royce. I don't feel like hurting nobody. I don't want nobody near me with no type of drama. The only drama I want is Naomi Campbell. I'm not fucking with Ricky. I don't even know what he's going to talk about. I nigga call me four times. I missed each call. I don't know what he's going to He wants his jewelry. I know that much. That's kind of fly, you know. That's his ego talking. That's why his records are so dope. He'll tell you in a minute. All of them is crumbs, and they all want to be me. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. And you peasant poor piece of trash. <laughs> Talking. You know, that's the type of shit he would say on his records. They all want to be him, the ruler. He used to play that shit. The ruler. The name is Slick Rick, the ruler. The rich ruler, by the way. Oh, man. Have you seen the pictures of him with the king hat on and the jewelry? He was as crazy as a bag of angel dust. I mean, personally, crazy. What's up, daddy? What's <laughs> <laughs> How you make it out in here, kid? Appreciate your freedom a lot more, you know? The little things, you know, you don't be so materialistic after, afterwards. Stuff like that, you know? Appreciate family life, all that good stuff, you know? So when the album's supposed to drop? November the what? November 22nd, I think. November 22nd? That's perfect for that Christmas money, it's gonna be good. A lot of the music, as good as we think it is, or Warren G did a good job, it ain't 100% you, and people are waiting for your music. So when you come home, you know, we just, you know, I want to see what you do on your own. I know you feel like it could be better. Hey, I don't got nothing against no, no producers. I mean, everybody got their props so they wouldn't be producers. You know what I'm saying? It's just that this man can't be me and I can't be him. You know what I'm saying? He might make good music like like Warren G and Snoop. They got their own style, you know what I'm saying? And Pete Rock or then this one and that one, they got their style. And their shit sells when they work together with... But if you put this with this, sometimes it just don't mix, you know what I'm saying? We can't understand how when these kids get these opportunities, like, you know, they got this gift, they make these records, they get success. 
And instead of taking that success and, and doing the right thing, a lot of them take that success and as a, as a green light to go to hell, to do all the wrong shit. And that's to me, the shock. But I keep seeing it more and more. And not to name any artists, but a lot of artists, even the ones that aren't in the news because of it, they, they got, they, with their hit record comes a lot of drama that they don't need. The country, the, the world is bugging out as it is, you know, Nick bros are just talking all type of mad stuff. I guess that's the way they feel like expressing themselves, but then when they have their shows and stuff, they got to live up to that image because they drawing a crowd that's on some rah, rah, rah. Yo, check it out, straight for Brooklyn, represent, throw your motherfucking hands up, throw your motherfucking hands up, check it out. What the fuck is this? Cause you was one of them niggas, you know what I'm saying? You on the corner, you trying to get your money, you see a nigga roll a by in a Benz or a Beamer, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck that nigga, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I murdered that nigga, I robbed that nigga, you know what I'm saying? Now, I'm the nigga in the Benz and the Beamer, you know what I'm saying? Driving past other corners, so I know the same speech is coming out, you know what I'm saying? But it's all good, though. I ain't tripping. You that nigga. Prior to 13 years of age, he was, um, he was just a, a, a son, a son that any mother would like. Mm -hmm. At 13, he became notorious. Mm -hmm. And then when I started doing the music and I started like slipping shit out the music and shit, it's like I didn't know Christopher did this, I didn't know he did that. She would always come in and see the drugs and shit, and I'd be like, it's Chico's. You know what I mean? My mom just do some wild shit, man. All my work in the toilet. She would put knives to Chico neck. Shit like that. Like, oh, it's bugging, like. But it's like, there was nothing she could do to stop a nigga. Like, I tell her I'm gonna stop, I ain't gonna fuck around no more. She kicked me out the crib. But I just like, come back in, tell her I ain't doing it, and still be doing it. Ready to die was 95% chronic. 5% of me. All the rest of that shit was the weed, man. All that suicidal thought shit, all that little extra shit that niggas ain't really supposed to be talking about. That was the weed talking, man. Blame that on a lot. It's censored on, on the radio. You don't hear think what he's really saying. I, I wasn't really looking at it as like, well, how am I feeling right now? I feel like killing myself. I'm gonna write a rhyme about it. It wasn't like that. I was just thinking like, damn, I remember when I used to be stressed out in the same fucking room. You know what I'm saying? And like, it was to the point where I was like, I want to kill myself. I was just like, damn, my baby mom's stressing me. My mom's stressing me. You know what I'm saying? The niggas ain't fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no money. I'm broke. The ab is hot and they can't get no money. A, a nigga just be like, yo. Fuck, if I was dead, I wouldn't have to worry about nothing. I could just, just lay up, either I'd be in heaven or hell. I'd just be laying the fuck up, just chilling. I wouldn't have to worry about no problems. That's what I was on. I wasn't on no killing myself shit. I was just saying if I was dead, I'd be a lot better off. And sometimes I still be feeling like that. Shit. Fucking fuckers want to stress a nigga out. Or oh, some bullshit. Some rap shit. It's supposed to be fun. We introduce everybody, so everybody will know. This is Warren G, you know what I'm saying? I think you're going platinum again, Johnny. <laughs> it's platinum now. Almost double. Double. <laughs> It'll right. be double by the end of the next week. <laughs> <laughs> Explain to them what double means, platinum. Two million records, you know, so CDs, tapes. Okay. So... Once you get 
off schedule when you're doing one of these tours that are long distance tour, uh, tour dates over 500 miles per day, you gotta be rolling. You gotta be almost rolling like an express. If you get off schedule, it's all, it's all fucked up. You got five o'clock flat crest once you see him in the lock. All right, like, that's important. You never see them. So I ain't gonna get to do nothing now. Let me quit. You can this happened in every city, and then I ain't gonna no, leave. No, this doesn't happen in every city. Five foot does in the house. This is a five foot session. Devin's in the house, motherfucker, I'm not stressing. At my best, and on the microphone, it's me. The any beat, it mean I be when I hit the clip. I got to get to a blip. Any nigga or nigga roll with the fro in the back, yo. Pass the flow to my homegirl, just still beatboxing, cuz we're on the real. We can work this out, but what they don't like, so I guess they're gonna send in conditions. I guess they want the hairdresser. Yeah, and I, I ain't paying for the shit. Come on, Warren. Every group has the hairdresser. I ain't paying for no no motherfucking hairdresser. If they want that shit, but be it, be my guess. I think I think I'm supposed to say fuck them and change the motherfucker. We're braids. They got braids in their hands. So what I mean, what's that? Can you burn your hair? They got braids in their hair, but they need a hairdresser. What else you say, Uncle Ronnie? Basically, we should firm up a little early in the game and waiting until he has to blow up. He makes his own decisions. Conditions. This, they act like I'm getting paid sixty thousand dollars or something. I'm just saying all this, all this trying to be business, talking about conditions and this, the conditions we. Conditions for what? Let me, hey, Neb, I, if y'all gonna come, y'all gonna have to let us know some. We they gotta know today for that. sure. They still have a production contract with Warren. I mean, I, you let them out of the Yeah. Track. If they really wanna get out, I, well, let's ask them again. I ain't about holding nobody. That's that's what it is about me. We work, we work. If, 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 if yeah. I ain't gonna work with you, what's the use of me holding? Still, there's something <laughs> different from there. I'll let you go. It ain't no thing to me, cause you're not making me or breaking the music industry. Break if when you come in as friends, it, it breaks you up. It breaks you up. Got them five sweepings in their pocket. It ain't them. It's a man. Well, he's twisting their ass up. He's about to fuck them up. You just tell us what what you want, and let's get on with this tour. And I'm a, and, and incidentally, Gil, you're not holding the tour up because. We did our first night last night. In blue and it was the shit. <laughs> That's Ron G at his best, baby. At his best. That's why my business is taken care of so swag. All right, y'all. Ready to go? Yeah. Ready to go. What's gang related? You know what I'm saying? I can't avoid it. You know what I'm saying? I got homies that gang bang. got uncles that bang. I got it's just I'm gang related. Even if I don't gang bang, my mama live in a gang related neighborhood. So when I go through that hood, I'm gonna say, what's happening, cuz? And I'm treated as a gang member. So I'm gang related. Doesn't have to come from the East Coast or the West Coast. So that means on that note, put your hands together for my people's Snoop Dogg and the Dog Pack. Put your motherfucking hands in the air. You don't motherfucking yeah. make your yeah. motherfucking noise. Yeah, 
motherfucker sick to death I get wrecked with a check So pass me my check bro. I got my own back in the trap But if they call for that I got my nigga coming back Hey, trippin' the wind Mac 10's in my nigga's clutch So bust this, we bust this Punk ass nigga I knew we was a fucking son So then I tap dad Go what's up Fuckin' trust You step back in for your check Then I'm all pump puffin' no guns Ready to get wrecked Even though I know we had a Mac 10 No, I gave a fucking stuff To check out the window That's how we lived, and we trying to figure out how can we change it by expressing it, letting y'all know that we done did it already. So, I mean, save yourself and don't go through that shit. Yeah, it's cool, you know what I'm saying, man? I mean, I'm sure everybody's upset about it. It's like everybody wants to say, um, yo, we've seen it, we lived it, and we ain't having it. That's what they want the rappers is really saying, you know? They try to represent their neighborhoods, whatever. But we all seen it, we all lived it, and we all ain't having it. Now we gotta move on to something else, you know what I'm saying? Okay, everybody, everything gonna be next man, I carry a bazooka. Next man, I got a tank. <laughs> you know, all that's cool, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to diss nobody, but you know, gotta move on, you know what I'm saying? Cause shit, we front front of our, fam our, our homeboys, but we still gotta go home to Mom Dukes, you know what I'm saying? We can't front around Mom Dukes 24 7. Yo, Mom, what up? You know what I'm saying? Put the stash away, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got respect for their parents, you know what I'm saying? We gangsters. We gangsters, we all do the same type of shit. It's something about being a dog pound gangster. Claiming me PJ for life. That gangster shit, that shit that them bust ass niggas talk about doing, want to do, act like they can do, but no, they can't do. You know what I'm saying? It's like this, we ain't preaching about doing no hell of ass shit. We just speaking the real straight from the heart. All the shit we talk about is real. I mean, it's not like I got a problem with gangster rappers because sometimes they tell them their life the way they, you know, it's all they see. See, it's another, the other thing is... And it's informative, it's helpful, but when other people come along and they just do it because they think that's the, their ticket. <laughs> Oh, no. 